but I didn't know what I wanted to do for a long time. I didn't have no idea you could make a living making comics. Can and you? <laughs> barely. <laughs> Well, I went to high school and that was bogus. Then I smoked dope and hid behind the bleachers. Then I got out of there and I didn't have to go to the gym class at all anymore. But I was, uh, then I went to the Massachusetts College of Art. I went for three and, three and three quarters of a year. Because at the end of the last year, the dean of the college called me down and said, uh, you haven't been going to any of your uh, academic classes. So you got to come, if you want to graduate with your friends, you got to come back and take a whole year of all academic classes. Like, art, you know, history, uh, not art history, history, psychology. Uh, and they were, the teachers that they had there were just fillers because it was a state school. They kind of had to have, like, these sort of math teachers teaching, you know, junior high math to college kids. Mm -hmm. I didn't go, I didn't bother my time with those things. Mm -hmm. So I didn't graduate. Matt Groening said, anybody, if you can draw fairly well and you can write fairly well, then you're a cartoonist. But, you know, neither one you have to be that good at. But he, uh, but th then they wouldn't let me into the illustration department because my portfolio was kind of sloppy. You know, I didn't really put that much effort into it. And I didn't make it. And, they, and he said, the, the teacher said, uh, why don't you go, well, whatever it was, the counselor, why don't you go to the fine arts department? You can paint there. I was like, what, why, because I'm, I'm sloppy? He said, it's fine art. You can do fine art. What's the difference between painting and illustration? It's the same thing, really. I said, well, all right, I'll get in the college. And I'm so glad I did it. Because to learn about fine art, first, is the thing, is, is what, you know, everything is, is based on what, when it comes down to. I know people that take courses in cartooning when they're in seventh grade. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. You should be, you know, you should be reading literature, real literature. You should be reading Moby Dick. Well, no, don't read Moby Dick until you're in your 30s, at least. But read everything else. You have got to read like literature, and don't just read comics if you want to be a cartoonist. And then learn how to paint, learn how to draw, then learn how to take all that stuff, throw away what you don't want, and then use what you want. I mean, learning fine arts, going to the museums with the teachers and the classes, pet, copying the old masters, learning from Michelangelo, you know, how to draw a guy sitting properly. From that, you learn how to do muscles, and you learn how to do elbows, and all that stuff that you need to draw, and then you make it into a car cartoon. Hmm. Well, that's what I did. That, that was your education in school? Yeah. Uh -huh. It was painting, sculpture, just real basic stuff, and I really like got into it. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. And then I would do comics, like, just to goof around. Mm -hmm. But I noticed my comics got a lot better as I learned, you know, how to paint like, uh, like a real painter. Uh -huh. Of course... The problem was the first time I took a drawing class in the fine arts department, I went in and the teacher was a hippie. He took his shoes off, he crumbled up some uh, colored pastels and dropped them on the floor on a piece of big piece of paper. He started walking all around, shuffling them, and he said, "This is a drawing." And I said, "Fuck this! This is not a, my drawing class." <laughs> and I got out of that class right away and went into like life drawing. Uh -huh. You found what I don't want to learn how to draw that. I mean, you know what? You, anybody can go ahead and try to be a hippie and express themselves and be groovy, but it's nice to learn some skill that you can then break down and, and you know, learn rules and break them. <laughs>